In an equilateral triangle with area 1, first start by trisecting the three sides of the triangle. Then bisect the three sides of the triangle as well. Connect vertices to opposite trisectors like this, and connect the remaining trisectors to the midpoints. Each of these six shaded regions makes up exactly one-seventh of the triangle, as you can see by rotating here. Therefore, we've shaded six-sevenths of the triangle. The center triangle is therefore one-seventh of the area of the original. We can repeat this process on the inner one-seventh, shading six-sevenths of one-seventh, so shading six of seven squared. Repeat this process over and over again, each time shading six-sevenths of the remaining one over seven to the end. If we consider the infinite sum, which corresponds to the limiting process, eventually the entire triangle will be shaded, and that means that the infinite sum we have is equal to 1. One interpretation is that 0.6 repeating in base 7 is equal to 1. Another one is that 6 times the infinite sum of the powers of 1 7th is 1, so that the infinite sum of the powers of 1 7th is 1 6th.